Hey there YouTube, um, I hope everybody is doing well, I hope you're having a good day or evening um, depending on when you're watching this. Um, if you are watching this for the first time, my name's Aris, um, I run a social and digital marketing agency um, based in London and I also do uh, consulting for businesses online, okay? And I got my journey started um, about 12 to 18 months ago. Um, that's when I really first began to look into how to make money online or the different types of business models that are out there. Um, so if you're watching this and you're in the same boat, then please stick around. Um, I'm going to be talking in this video specifically um, about the type of clients that you actually want to get on board when you're starting your own agency, okay? Um, because I wish this was something I'd spent a bit more time listening to and focusing on um, because it would have saved myself a lot of time a lot of energy um, and a lot of stress as well when when getting started and I think it's important if you're watching this and you're a beginner uh, just getting started uh, this is a key area to really kind of focus on <coughs> okay so the the topic or the issue is really getting the ideal client okay like when you're starting off your agency you really need to know or have in mind kind of who it is you want to help who it is you want to serve um, and more so than that when going out there and offering your services uh, to help businesses you really want to make sure that they're kind of at a stage where they're on board and they know that uh, social media marketing um, or internet marketing works this is going to make it a ton um, of a lot easier for you to be able to engage with them um, to be able to just even strike up a conversation uh, and get talking to them about how you can potentially benefit them now when I first got started like the majority of you I'm sure I was just kind of sending emails after email after email um, pretty pointlessly really um, these weren't even to companies that I could see either had a Facebook pixel or were trying to do any type of social media marketing um, and it makes it really really difficult okay because you all automatically start on the back foot you know um, they obviously haven't tried it um, they might not have the money the time uh, or the skills to really to have began okay um, so if you're going in there and offering your services right away and telling them about um, Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat uh, and chucking a load of information at them, then they're probably not going to be in a um, place where they get it and understand how it could really help them. Okay. So what I found is one of the best ways is to kind of take a little bit more time on the clients that you're working with, uh, make sure that they are um right for you okay um that they first of all just have a budget to do it second of all have a bit of time to kind of see the results from it um which is really really important because it's definitely not a you know post uh, put up one facebook ad um campaign and transform their business it's not really going to work like that you know you need at least three Three months is probably a good buffer um, if you're doing it right to be able to grow um, their business or their their presence. So that's that's a key thing. Make sure that they have some type of social media ongoing. Um, and there's a number of ways you can check that, which I'll share um, in the course with you. So that's number one. Make sure you qualify or pre-qualify your potential clients. Um, it's gonna stop you from getting to a stage where you're just frustrated you're getting lower end lower uh, lower client tickets there's not really too much margin in there for you um, and you're just gonna have a ton of unnecessary work on your hands okay um, you know I find that the higher the higher paying the clients are um, 
they really kind of just let you get on with it and and uh, provide results. Whereas some of the lower paying clients, they're just on your back all the time. You know, they're worried about losing their five hundred dollars, um, and it doesn't really uh, make for a great relationship. Okay, because they're, they're going to blame you for it not working um, in most cases. Okay, so that's one of the main things really. Um, just a little discussion that I hope uh, helps a couple of you uh, when you're getting started to go out there and make sure that the clients are the type of clients that you really want to work with so yeah um, other than that I understand if you're um, in the beginning stages you're just looking to get some money and and cash up uh, you know definitely go for that if, if that is the stage that you are at but just know it isn't sustainable to continue to uh, to do that. Apologies. So, yeah, as you as you start to get some money, hopefully you're beginning to save it um, and invest it back into your business. That's when you can really begin to uh, pick and choose what kind of clients you want to work with. Okay, and that's the stage you want to get get to and get get at um, where things become a whole lot easier. Okay, so yeah, once again, please leave any comments um, and your thoughts in the, down below. And until next video, um, yeah, I will be in uh, Phoenix for the next week and then heading back home to London. So yeah, keep, keep it up, keep sending emails, keep sending uh, outreach, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Until next time, peace out guys.